what's next? I'm going to just start spouting some ideas and some concepts that I find interesting. That's been kind of troubling me. Um, so don't take everything I have as fact. Take it as me just talking, discussing and presenting ideas. One of them is the God that we worship, each individual person who is in some form of religious, worships a God. Is that our ideal self? Are we worshiping an entity that we want to be so much like? Now let me explain. The Christians, I grew up a Catholic, following Catholic doctrine, and through all the history, Christians really were not Christ-like. The Christians, uh, Jesus' teachings was take care of each other, love one another, feed one another. Um, never was about conversion. It was just presenting ideas, discussions, just telling stories, teaching. That's all Jesus wanted to do was teach his ideas, spread the idea, spread love, compassion, and taking care of each other. Nothing about conversion. On top of that was the idea that Jesus was following orders or was following the plan written by his Father God, the big Father God, who from Judaism was a very vengeful, wrathful God, a God who inflicted punishment, uh, who also told the Jewish people when they sacked the city to just kill, kill children, kill women. Basically, that was the initial part. And later, when the Jewish people, the Hebrews, fell away from God, he punished them by having them be attacked by other states. And that's a vengeful God, and is that the God that Christianity was basically following or becoming like? A vengeful God who basically, you, you, you do what I say, you follow my rules. And then you have multiple sects, multiple groups following the same, the same God, who this God really doesn't care about your day-to-day -day worship. He just wants you to follow him. And is that our highest goal is to be at the top of the heap and have everyone follow us? Do we, who follow a religious God, want to be like that God? Is that just the God we worship? Is that a mirror of ourselves? Now I'm going to go further into that when people who say, well, I'm not religious, well, even an atheist has something that they are subject to, something that they surrender themselves to. And we believe in day-to-day -day life that that's our requirement, that we have to surrender ourselves to the government, we have to surrender ourselves to taxes and money, surrender ourselves to our family, surrender ourselves to our job. And is there a time when we need to stop ourselves and say, I don't need this. I don't have to bow to everyone. I am in control of the situation. And rather than fighting face to face, can you manipulate the situation? Take a step back and rather than being subject to your boss, can you manipulate your boss rather than your boss says, okay, I need to get to the, these projects done. And you realize, well, this is over my head. This is too much for me. There's a way for turning things around and saying, you know, well, I want to get these projects done, but, you know, I just, let me see what I can do. Or rather than being overworked, can you manipulate the situation? When it comes to money, do we really need to get more and more and better and better? Do we really need to follow what Wall Street, Times Square, and marketing tell us what we need. Do we really need to follow what the commercial on TV tell us? 
Is there a way of stepping back and going, yeah, you know what, I don't need that much, or I can live fine? Because a lot of life is about manipulating, manipulating us, manipulating ourselves, manipulating each other. Can we just step back? And rather than looking outside ourselves for a god or a deity or validation, can we look in ourselves and say, okay, this is what I truly want. I am in control of my life. No one else is need to manipulate me. Because when we get anxious or stressed out by work, we don't realize that we're in control of the whole situation. When a boss stresses us out because he gives us overwork, somehow we accepted that work. And you can say, well, I had no choice. Well, that's how the system manipulates you. When others tell you, I have no choice, when you tell yourself you have no choice, well, no, you have no choice because that's what you've chosen. But when you take a step back and think, okay, if I have too much to do and I can't accomplish it and no one listens to me, why do I need to accomplish it? If I get fired, if I get laid off, what will happen to the department? Because sometimes they push and push and push to see how much they can get out of you and they realize they really can't live without you. So if they push and push and push, you don't just take and say no. You do what you can, and then you sometimes let things fall by the wayside, saying, I'm sorry, I can't accomplish it. You do it in the most sympathetic way, so you're the sympathetic character. It's put on them. If you fight back hard, it just means that, well, maybe you could have got it done. That's the weird thing about arguments, is when you argue, when you justify, when you need to defend yourself, Sometimes you're bringing stuff in that others didn't see that might not quite be there, but you have to, you know, prop things up. You need to exaggerate. So you don't really need to defend or exaggerate. All you need to do is just state the facts. And maybe that's all it is. Because a big bad God, is it that powerful without our belief in it? A big bad god, a big vengeful god, is it that powerful with us pushing it and believing that it is that powerful? Because a big bad god wouldn't need to kill and maim its people. A big bad god wouldn't need to punish others. It would just create it. A powerful boss would know what his people were capable of rather than manipulating them to do too much. A powerful boss would know how to get the resources in order for everyone to be productive rather than pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. The most intelligent know how to manipulate their resources. Whether it be a god, a boss, a parent, or just a day-to-day -day person who has a day-to-day -day household. We have everything we need to accomplish. We have everything we need to succeed. We just need to step back, observe it, and be our best self. I may have meandered and talked around in circles, but I think I got my idea straight. We don't need to worship an external God. We don't need to put a mirror and make things up because no matter what, even if our God is a mirror of ourselves, it's backwards and not quite right. Such my ideas. If you have other ideas you want to critique, I welcome to hear them. If you want to hear what I might have to say, might be interesting, subscribe. Hit that bell, because I welcome anyone who wants to critique or support me because I want to learn. I want to grow. What's next?